Everton is that much closer to Bottas. They're going to have a will to will, and somehow Bottas is staying ahead, but he's got a bit too deep. Bottas, though, is going to come back at it. Bottas retakes the lead. That is Lando Norris, and he's having a right old ding dong with Antonio Giovinazzi. What is it doing? My God, this guy is incredible. We will never know. He's going to go for it. It's Charles Leclerc. That is absolutely epic. Thinking about overtaking is always quite tricky. Sometimes you just need to go for it and hope that everything is going to be OK. He's now going to have to defend into Brooklyn as Gasly tries around the outside. With Charles Leclerc's more than up for the challenge. If someone does wrong by me on the track, I get, I get to be honest, I get instant kind of anger and, and instant emotion. Uh, but I'm aware that sometimes being emotional is not the most constructive thing, but I certainly do feel an anger and, and my immediate feeling as well is retaliation. You've got a, a lot of feelings going on, you know, again, you've got emotion and, and anger, but you've also got to kind of quickly compose yourself because you've got another corner coming up. Awesome job, mate. You know, you've got other things to manage and you can't let one split second feeling dictate the rest of your race. What the What was he thinking? Your emotions can be very dif different in those kind of things. Um, sometimes you are upset, sometimes it actually motivates you more to get back at him. And sometimes it's, it's just a really good fight. And by going off track, it's not like going through the gravel or grass. It can be like onto the tarmac as well, and then you race in the next corner again. Like I had, for example, last year with, with Charles in, in Silverstone, we, I think we raced for I don't know how many laps. Sometimes it just gives you that extra motivation as well to try and get ahead. How many more laps of action can Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc give us? There's always a bit of tension when you're defending, but when you defend uh, successfully, you're like, okay, it was good. You need still to keep an eye on the guy behind because if he's attacking you, it means that he's quicker at that stage of the race. Is it worth it fighting? every little bit or maybe let him go and get him later in the race or if it's the last laps and you have to defend you have no choice then you just need to be smart that was super racing from danny kriat alex albon has hamilton troubles here as he turns it oh, oh and lewis hamilton makes contact with alex albon no 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 it's a shock obviously it's almost like someone pushes you and you don't expect it so we're very rarely touching formula one so when you do it feels a bit strange just happens in slow motion. The whole world goes around you. You just feel like you're in a passenger plane. You get spun around. You normally see the person who's just hit you, and then all the other cars come past you, and that's very depressing. <laughs> the staff has been given more power. Oh, that's great news. He needs a hope for a miracle. For Stafford down the inside on Lewis Hamilton, they make contact. If you tangle with someone in the track, it's. Uh, it's frustrating, but I think when I was younger, it was more frustrating on the personal level. But as, I, as you get older, you realize that you're a part of a team and it affects a lot of people. That's why I generally try everything. That's why I give all these drivers extra space because the majority of them, particularly the younger ones, are not, as I wasn't, necessarily conscious of the fact that there's other people that have helped them get to where they are in a, in a sense of, all the work. You're, you're less conscious of it, I think, when you're younger. I'm more conscious of that, and so they take more risk. That's where I like to give a bit more space and try to avoid those scenarios as much as I can. Hamilton chases down the main straights, pulls out to the right-hand side, and makes his way round and into the lead. Every time you're being forced out or pushed around, your first thought is that he's not fair, that he should be punished for that. And then normally when you look at the replay, you sometimes realize that you probably would have done the same in his position. I really enjoy uh, fighting with the other drivers and I will uh, probably not do this sport if there was not this sort of competition.